So when we look at this problem, you might see the fraction and think, oh no, this is going to be super complicated. And it doesn't have to be. The one step is going to be to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the fraction. So reciprocal, that's a big word. What does it mean? Well, reciprocal is when you take a fraction, but you switch the numerator and denominator. So the reciprocal of one third would be three over one. So I'm going to multiply both sides by three over one. If I focus on the left side, I have the fractions three over one times one over three. If I pull those out, three over one times one over three is equal to three over three or one. And any time you multiply reciprocals, you will always get the number one. So what I can do in the problem is cross out the threes, cross out the ones, which leaves us with one x or just x. If you look at the bottom, there's a special rule. It says if you multiply or divide by a negative number, flip the sign. Since we multiplied by a positive three, we don't have to worry about that rule and we can bring down the inequality sign. If I look on the right side, I have eight times three over one. It's important for us to notice that three over one is equal to three. So now we have eight times three, and eight times three is 24. So the final inequality will be x is greater than 24. Example number two, negative one fourth x is less than or equal to three. Step one, multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the fraction. So what is the reciprocal of negative one fourth? If you were thinking negative four over one, you are correct. So notice I keep that negative sign and just switch the numerator and denominator. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by negative four over one. If I focus on the left, I have negative four over one times negative one over four. I'll pull those out, multiply, which leaves me with four over four, which is equal to one. So once again, any time you multiply reciprocals, you will always get the number one. So we can cross out those fours, cross out those ones, which leaves us with one x or just x. But now it's important to look at the rule at the bottom of the screen. If you multiply or divide by a negative number, flip the sign. Since we multiply both sides by negative four over one, we do have to flip the sign. So since the original inequality sign is pointed to the left, we have to flip it so now it is pointed to the right. If we focus on the right side now, we have three times negative four over one. And it's important for us to notice that negative four over one is the same as just negative four. So three times negative four is equal to negative 12. If you notice you're struggling with multiplying by negative numbers, I will include a link in the description to a song I made to help you with that skill. So the final inequality will be x is greater than or equal to negative 12. Okay, now it's your turn to try it out. I have two inequalities on the screen I want you to solve for. I would recommend you pause the video, solve, and then resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. Let's take a look. Number one, the final inequality will be x is greater than or equal to negative 24. And number two, the final inequality is x is greater than 12. Notice since we multiplied by a negative six in number two, we did have to flip the sign. If you had either of these incorrect, I would recommend you go back, review your work, and see if you can find your mistake. Thank you for watching. Multiply or divide. Negative flip the sign, multiply or divide.